Ooh, that sounded expensive. Better get in the studio and check it out. Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. In this video, we wanna go over some of the top problems that you could find on this fifth generation Mercury Grand Marquis. Let's get into it. The first thing that I wanna talk about is the air ride suspension. Firstly, you could find that it's sitting a little bit low, especially after it's been sitting. Maybe it's continuously sitting low, even while you're driving. You can still hear that compressor running, but for some reason, the suspension just doesn't go up. Otherwise, you might find that the suspension is sitting properly, but you can hear up in the front, the compressor clicks on and turns back off several times, essentially continuously cycling. This could be a major issue, and essentially that means you have a leak. The next problem that we want to talk about comes down to the internal cabin temperature control. Symptoms you would find if you were having an issue like this would be that you make your way to the head unit and you try to adjust the temperature. For some reason, as you're trying to make that adjustment, you don't feel as though the air temperature is changing as it's coming out of the vents. It might come down to the head unit here. This is where you would, of course, make the adjustments for the temperature control and the adjustment for the amount of air coming out of the vents. If this was broken or damaged in some way, typically it's going to be an internal issue. Commonly, if you had an issue with this, you'd want to go ahead and replace it. The next problem that I want to talk to you about comes down to your engine coolant thermostat. Common symptoms that you might find if you're having an issue with this part right here would be that it takes longer for your engine to get up to normal operating temperature and remain there. Let's move along to our fourth problem. This one comes down to transmission issues. Common symptoms that you'll find if you're having an issue with the transmission would be once you start up the vehicle and you attempt to drive away, you're going to feel a little bit of a slipping coming from it. You might also find that while you're driving down the road and the transmission is supposed to shift automatically, it feels as though it either slips when it's supposed to shift or when it does shift, it's a hard shift and you can feel it throughout the passenger compartment. The last problem that we want to talk to you about on these particular vehicles comes down to the plastic intake and the intake gaskets. It's possible for the plastic intake itself to get dry and brittle and potentially break. It's even more probable to find that you have an issue with the gaskets themselves. There's a couple symptoms that you might happen to find if you are having an issue with either of these. You might find that you have a check engine light that comes on, and if you were to pull the code, it'll probably tell you that you have a running lean condition. Other than that, you might happen to see some white smoke coming out of that tailpipe. Why is that? because if you had an issue where the gasket was damaged in between the coolant chamber and the air intake area, it's possible for hot coolant to get sent right into that combustion chamber, get burnt up inside the combustion chamber, and then get shot right out the tailpipe. Now, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it interesting. If there was something in this video that you liked and you think somebody else might like it, go ahead and share it with them. It would mean everything to me. If you like the video or even love the video, go ahead and smash on the like button for me. It would mean the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. That way they're you. And all of your friends can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. The first thing that I would always want to do, always, I would always, it's possible for some sort of sludge, some sort of sludge.